Okay, I tell you about my new wood stove. It's called a Little Bug Junior. It's made by a fellow named Kent Herring. It's up in Bemidji, Minnesota, my hometown. It's a town with a fun name to say and a hard name to spell. Uh, this portion of the stove right here weighs uh, five ounces, so it's pretty light. There's another piece uh, right here, weighs a couple of ounces. Uh, that slides in here as sort of a heat modulator. We'll see how that works later, perhaps. And then there is also uh, an envelope, a broadcloth envelope that uh, the fold folds up in and uh, packs away quite nicely. So um, I'll show you how to put this together, and then we'll fire it up for a test run. The stove comes wrapped in this uh, cloth envelope. You can see it has a bit of a curvature right here, but it's relatively thin and uh, should fit nicely into a pack. Take it apart. And what we have inside are five pieces. We have a heat regulator, two pieces for the top, and two pieces for the sides. So what we'll do now is take one of the sides and take this. There are notches and tabs. We'll fit the notch and tab in one piece like so, set it aside. The other one, the notches and the tabs. And now we need to bring these together. This has a rivet on the inside and a hole on one side. The other one is just exactly the same. So you bring it together. And then push it down. And now we have the rivets and the holes mesh, and there it is. It's ready to go. So I like to start my fires with little assists like this. I've taken dryer lint and uh, poured some wax in an egg carton. So I've got one of those pieces underneath there in this dry wood. Okay, so I'll try and get it going now. So now it seems like it may take. Position my stove over it. Notice the stove has air holes on one side and a plank on another, so you want to face the air holes into the wind if there is any. I don't have much wind right here. Position it like so. And we've got a little uh, car going. It's easy to put sticks in on the sides. So right now I'm just going to make a little teepee. What I'm putting in here is fairly dry stuff, uh, lilac mostly, so it burns fast. Not a lot of heat, but it's pretty good for starting a fire. Not using any very large wood at all. Everything that I'm putting in, I broke by hand. And my uh, idea is that I would like to use stuff sort of like this backpacking, and so I don't want to have to bring any more than I need to start the fire. See so, you now the fire is starting to get some traction. And we're to a point now where I think we can start to get some useful heat on the pot. So I have here 24 ounces of water. Loading the stove while it's burning is easy. Sample room there for Nothing. Fuel on the sides. Sort of necessary when you use a small kind of uh, twigs as I'm using here. Starting to hear the water boil a little bit. And the moment we've all been waiting for, the rolling boil. So now I'll let the fire burn out, 
and then we'll try using it uh, as a windscreen for uh, alcohol stove. Once the stove is removed from heat, it takes uh, not very long at all to cool off. Now that it's done that, I want to take it apart and put it back together for use with an alcohol stove where the pot platform will be inverted and will be lower. So we just squeeze the body. We squeeze the pot supports, turn them around. Now they will be low and almost flush. Rise this. Turn it around. Getting a little set of my fingers. That's just part of the course for using wood stoves. And then piece these together. Like so. Now there is a rivet and a hole between the two pot supports. Put those together if you can. And now we're uh, set to go. So we've got the uh, stove is pluming now. It's focusing on the pot of water. We do have some breeze through here, so um, the little bug is working as a windscreen. It's a rolling boil. Ready for some hot chocolate? Mmm. So, we can finish up now and pack this all away. It's cool again. It's apart pretty easily. Now, it's been burning for a little bit, so I'm going to try and be a little more careful about soot this time. Soot will be on the inside. I'm going to wipe. Wipe the worst of it off. See this, it comes off pretty clearly. So when we pack it up now, uh, it's relatively clean. This should be relatively easy to find uh, a place in the pack. You know, put this around in a bag or something like that. So, it's a, it's a nice little stove. I like it. So, hope you learned something.